from the Whiskey Eden's World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta. What else? <laughs> what time is it? Five o'clock. Why? Because it's always five o'clock at the Whiskey Eden's World Headquarters. <laughs> what are we drinking? <laughs> Abelour. What kind? So something special, I consider to be special, is the uh, 10-year-old Abelour. It's discontinued now, replaced by the 12-year-old. Uh, both are sherry and bourbon casks. So uh, we're gonna taste them and talk about them a little bit here. And uh, I'll get two more glasses. We'll put uh, one in Glen Karen's and one in the Copita, just to uh, distinguish. Yeah, keep it a little bit uh, distinguished. So do you have a preference which goes where? Huh, I don't know. No, it doesn't matter to me. Tall bottle, tall glass. There we go. Boom. Just a little sippy poo, that's all. Just a sip. Just a little tasty nip. Yeah, there we are. Finger bar. And uh, the 12 year I can smell from here the uh, wonderful vanillas and, and uh, sherries and uh, things like that, so. It's quite nice. Love that. And drippy. Drip, drip, it, drip. So I'll move those over. And um, we have tall bottle, tall glass, the 10 year old. So again, discontinued bourbon and sherry. Now these are Oloroso sherry whiskeys and they're entry level. And the reason we want to do the 10 as well as the 12 is because the 10 is still available. So you can find it on a shelf for now, for now. Yeah, for now. So it won't be long before these will be gone. Yeah. Basically. To exist no more. Yep. That's nice. Now I like this 10. It's got uh, some intensity to it. It's only 40% but it doesn't matter that Oloroso spice comes through, I find. The nose is deceiving. It smells sweeter than it is. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I like about the 10. It doesn't have the same sweetness as you'll find with the 12. The 10 has a spicier characteristic to it. So if y'all had the 10 before, you know what I'm talking about. I recommend that you do them side by side if you had them. And then go try the Abunda or something like that, right? When it comes to Avalor, uh, delicious, reliable drams. This 10. Mm. Mm. So we're, we're going to talk about, too, if if it's justified. Are you okay with the switch? Because I really enjoy the 10 more than 12. But I've heard a lot of people say they enjoy the 12 more. What Do you know what factored into the decision to stop with the 10? <sighs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, could just be anybody like out there know the way of the world. Yeah, I mean, if you know, drop it in the comments and be yeah. sure to uh, educate to us. us. Yeah, yeah, because we're just two drunk guys uh, fumbling our way through the world of whiskey, just like you folks. Neither one of us are sommelier. No, we're not certified. No, no. Well, way. Uh, mm. Mm. That is nice. Now, I got some. Uh, coffee beans here that I'll be using. And I got my water that I wasted earlier because I'm a spilly bitch. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I've been oh, known to spill. No idea. Try riding in a car with them. Yeah. I am a spilly bitch. And if you're a spilly bitch too, I want you to uh, give this video a thumbs up because <laughs> <laughs> we're all just a bunch of spilly bitches at the end of the day. So yeah, let's just... Um, that's a long finish on that Abelure. I cut it right off with the water, but uh, let's uh, reset. It does linger. It. Yeah, it's lingering. That Oloroso shines through, but you still get that bourbon vanilla in the tin, and I love that. <laughs> Let's move on to the 12. I see you moved on to it. What are your initial thoughts here? Right off the bat, it smells different. Drastically different. Fruitier, almost. I, uh, yeah, I could see that. It's a little sweeter smelling to me. It's more pleasant smelling. But it's also spirit forward. I find the first hit is spirity. 
and I don't find that in the tin. See, I don't, I, I don't mind it though. It's not a bad that. thing at all. Um, it smells younger than the tin to me. Just that zingy. Oh, it is when I get deep into it. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, one okay. thing about me too, I get my nose right in there. Yeah. People tell you not to do that, eh? But uh, <laughs> we're telling them to go that's <laughs> off because we can do whatever we want because we're grown ups. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, technically, we're grown ups. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's see. Let's see. That's pleasant. I'll find more oak. It is much lighter. Much lighter. Again, eh? doesn't taste like it smells. No, I agree. No. Weird. I agree. It's uh, it's so much lighter. Mm. And it's more bourbon, I find. It's not as spicy as the tin. I think it's sweeter, though. Totally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So again, this is a tough one. Yeah, we want to hear from you folks. If you've had the 10 and the 12, let us know. Like, which which do you like better? Um, right now, just sitting here, I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards the 10. I like it better because it's not as friendly. I like it to be a little more abrasive. And I find it is more abrasive than the 12. So, and these bottles, you know, are mid, mid to halfway gone. So uh, we've been enjoying these. This doesn't last long. Uh, because people who come in to my house are sometimes um, interested in the idea of whiskey. So people who come to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters, they're like, hey, what is this? What the hell is going on here? Open my mind. And we're like, yeah, let's do that. So I like to have something like this around because it's inexpensive and it's delicious. So a newbie may really enjoy this. I think a newbie would enjoy the 12 even more. I'm a newbie, and I like the 12 more. That's what I'm discovering right now. Yeah, so I I guess I'm a newbie still. I don't know. What's a newbie? I've only been really getting into whiskey for two years now. A couple years. Yeah, still fresh in your whiskey journey. It's been a little bit longer for me. I do enjoy the uh, sometimes borderline unpleasant, and this is not unpleasant mm. at all. But it's much more uh, intense than the 12-year-old. Both at 40% as well. Now, I came in with a preconceived notion, but we've done it blind many times. I wouldn't say hundreds of times, but like a couple times we've done it blind when people are around just to see who likes what. Just to see what we like more. I get what you're talking about spiciness more. On yeah. This. Yeah. And I gravitate toward that. Yeah. I enjoy both, but next time I'm reaching for the... Reaching for the 12. That's going to be me. So there's a uh, quick recap. Ty, it's going mm. with the 12. If someone had both of these bottles right here lined up and said, uh, it's the only two I got, which would you prefer? I I am reaching for the 10-year-old. Yeah, I like it a little bit. It's okay spice. that you're wrong. Yeah. yeah, you know, I've been wrong before. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've been wrong before. We all know that tastes differ, and yeah, at this the end is of the one day, of those days where we uh, we disagree. Yeah, drink what you like at the yeah. end of the day, of course. I, I do believe you will like Avalor. I do believe you will like the 10 more than the 12. <laughs> no. Again, I find people who are a little bit earlier on will often go to the more pleasant flavors. I'm not looking for pleasant. I want to get punched in the mouth. Okay, I don't mind getting hit in the face. I remember that for the rest of the road trips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. Delicious as far as I'm concerned. All right. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Boom. Cheers, everybody. See, he reached for the 12th. Mm. It's good shooting whiskey. You open up your palate <laughs> and then you get to the real stuff. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below, folks. There's that. Subscribe. Cheers, Cheers everybody.